Welcome back, guys. Today, we're diving into the ultimate showdown between Japan Airlines' brand new A350-1000 business class and ANA's The Room on the Boeing 777-300ER. Which one is worth your miles and money? Let's find out. Will Jow's sleek new design win you over, or does ANA's private room reign supreme? Stick around for our final verdict. All right, guys, our journey begins here at DFW Airport. We're about to board the Japan Airlines brand new A350-1000. It's a long trip, but with these two products, luxury and comfort are guaranteed. Or are they? Let's find out. Our trip is gonna take us from here at DFW with a stop in Tokyo, and then on to Singapore, which is our final destination. We're really looking forward to this A350-1000 brand new airplane, brand new business class product that Japan Airlines has just rolled out. Stay tuned until the very end for the final cost breakdown and our ultimate verdict, JAL versus a a Which one gives you the best value? This thing is huge. I cannot believe the space we have. It literally is your own apartment. Look at that, you got that all the way inside. That's how much space you have. The seat controls are intuitive and easily accessible. For connectivity, the seat is equipped with a universal outlet, a combination USB-A and USB-C port. The tray table slides out smoothly, providing ample space for working, dining, or simply relaxing with your favorite movie. A thoughtful touch is the in-seat wardrobe, which offers convenient storage for your jacket, keeping it wrinkle-free the entire flight. For added organization, there's a dedicated shoe drawer ensuring your personal space stays tidy and clutter free. A small cubby near your head offers a perfect spot to store small essentials like a phone or glasses. The monitor remote is sleek and responsive. The entertainment selection is impressive with a wide array of movies and TV shows. And you can even order food directly from the monitor, making in-flight dining a breeze. The provided headphones offer excellent noise cancellation, letting you enjoy your entertainment or relax in peace. So there was two bags. I got the blue, he got the green. Let's see what's inside. The amenity kit is quite minimal, containing essentials like eye mask, earplugs, a toothbrush, pocket tissues, and a handy phone stand. It's always a nice touch when they include slippers as well. So they give you um, a mock sweatshirt. With no middle overhead bins, the cabin feels open and spacious, enhancing the overall sense of airiness and comfort. I got the Brundlemeyer Riesling. Not as sweet as I would like, but delicious. Here's a complete guide to business class dining. JAL Business Class provides a choice of either an international menu or Japanese menu, as well as an anytime a la carte option for both Japanese and international options. A canapé of mixed nuts and owls were served at the start of the meal service. For the Japanese appetizer, Iridori goes in a selection of seasonal, colorful delicacies. For the international appetizer, tandoori chicken and shrimp salad was served. And the main course was a USDA prime beef tenderloin. For the Japanese main course, simmered black cod with miso sauce and grilled eggplant. And for dessert, matcha panna cotta. Jal Business Class provides a choice of several anytime snacks after the main meal service. Mm. Very good. Oh, it falls apart. It actually like literally just fell apart on me. That's really good. That's really good, actually. Good. The seat lays completely flat, giving you plenty of room to stretch out and enjoy a restful sleep on long haul flights. When it's time to rest, Japan Airlines provides a thick mattress topper, along with a couple of cozy blankets and a soft, supportive pillow. The setup feels more like a high end hotel than an airplane seat. As you can see, Tan and I are more than ready to catch some sleep. 
And with this setup, it's easy to settle in for a comfortable nap. All right, just to give you a quick recap on our day. So we got to the airport this morning at 6.30. Unfortunately, the Japan Airlines ticket counter doesn't open until 8.30. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to check in early. However, we had our electronic boarding passes and we went right through security. And then we headed up to the American Airlines flagship lounge. Everyone was so sweet and the food was so good. And that natural sunlight and those views of the planes are so amazing. Overall, we felt that the seat itself was excellent, spacious, comfortable, and full of useful features. The mattress topper and sleeping setup really made a difference on this long haul flight. As for the service, it was good, but didn't quite reach the exceptional level we've experienced on other airlines. The crew was attentive, but there were a few small moments where it didn't quite meet our expectations. And finally, the food. It was definitely enjoyable with well-presented dishes, but again, it didn't stand out as the highlight of the flight. Now that we've covered Japan Airlines, let's take a look at ANA's The Room and see how it compares. Today is the second half of our Japan Airlines versus ANA Challenge. We'll be flying The Room in the Boeing 777-300ER on All Nippon Airways, otherwise known as ANA, from Tokyo Haneda to New York's JFK. Stay tuned and we'll show you everything The Room has to offer. As we walk down the jetway and board ANA's Boeing 777-300ER, we're excited to finally experience their highly praised The Room business class. As we settle into The Room, we're greeted with two pillows, a cozy blanket, a seat cover, the amenity kit, and even slippers, all designed to maximize comfort. You'll also find a stunning 24-inch 4K monitor. The footwell offers plenty of legroom, making it easy to stretch out during the flight a center divider that can be raised or lowered, intuitive seat controls, outlets including a USB-A, a universal plug, and even an HDMI port. And to top it off, free Wi-Fi for the entire flight. The amenity kit was a nice touch, featuring a sleek bag filled with Avita body lotion and lip balm, along with a small tote bag for added convenience. Oh, it's a bag. Tote bag. Oh, that's cool. All right, actually, That'll come in handy. We use those all the time. Nice. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Huh? The headphones were a bit smaller than gels, but still comfortable enough for the duration of the flight. Though the noise canceling wasn't quite as strong. The 24 inch 4K monitor offers a wide variety of movies, TV shows, and interactive features. And when you're ready for some privacy, just slide the door shut and suddenly you've got your own personal suite in the sky. The meal service begins with a simple but elegant touch as the flight attendant lays out a crisp white tablecloth setting the stage for what's to come. Here's a complete guide to ANA's business class dining. Much like Japan Airlines, ANA Business Class provides a choice of either an international menu or a Japanese menu, as well as an anytime a la carte option for both Japanese and international options. An amuse-bouche of ANA's original nut and chili pie stick with pastrami and cheese, followed by matcha bread and pickled fish roll, marinated high sugar tomato, jellied lobster, and simmered octopus. The main course was braised wagyu beef shank with turnip puree and daikon radish cake. The other main was flounder mounier with scallop tartare and red wine sauce. The dessert consisted of Japanese chestnut cream cake, cheese, and fruits. A, a Business Class provided a choice of several anytime snacks after the main was served. For breakfast, a frittata with tomato sauce, croissants, and fruit, as well as a continental breakfast option with ham and cheese, croissants, and fruit as well. The live flat bed was unfortunately the most disappointing part of the flight. The mattress topper was just a thin sheet and the seat itself was really warm. To make things worse, you had to lie at an awkward angle to fully stretch out, making it uncomfortable for a proper rest. And here we are, finally arriving into JFK after two long but luxurious flights. Let's break it down. Price-wise, Japan Airlines came in at $3,030 US dollars per person, while ANA was slightly less 
at $2,656. Typically, these flights are much more expensive, but by adding the extra leg to Singapore, we managed to secure them for a fraction of the usual cost. Definitely a great value for both airlines. When it comes to service, ANA truly stood out. Their attention to detail and professionalism were unmatched. JAL's service was good, but ANA's was just a bit more polished and attentive. As for the food, both airlines delivered. The meals were beautifully presented and full of flavor, so we'd call it a tie in this category. However, when it came to sleep, ANA's bed fell short. The mattress topper was thin and the seat showed its age, while Jow provided a better overall sleeping experience. So if service and privacy are your top priorities, ANA's The Room is hard to beat. But if you're looking for a better sleep setup, Japan Airlines might be the way to go.